What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions and today I'm going to address a question that was brought to me uh, probably about maybe three or four weeks back and it was in regards to the video where I talked about um, basically the voided contracts of a citation and then what voids them blah 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 well in that instance one of the comments or one of the comments I received from that a young man stated well if federal law is what's superseding then state law is irrelevant my response to him was there is no spoon so whenever you're talking about state law and federal law we go back to the simplest law the supreme law of the land from the united states constitution which is which is the supremacy clause all laws that are made that flow from federal law, Supreme Court decisions, as well as treaties that the United States are involved in. Now, I have actually given you things such as the Selective Cor Incorporation Doctrine, which it showed. Several cases where state law was overridden because it conflicted with federal law. I've given you Howlett v. Rose, which federal law and Supreme Court decisions are the supreme law of the land. And state courts cannot choose to not abide by them. And I'm going to give you one more. Because generally, I don't like going past 1963. I'll give you that reason later. But generally, there are going to be cases where that precedent is set long prior to 1963 but after 1932 again things that i'll get into now this case today is testa v cat 330 us 386 and it's a 1947 case state courts have both the power and the duty to enforce obligations arising under federal law unless congress gives federal courts exclusive jurisdiction state courts are bound then to give effect to federal law when it's applicable and to disregard state law when there is a conflict why because the supremacy clause of the united states constitution now a lot of people are not gonna like that guess what doesn't matter because it's written it's verifiable it's actually in any library that has a section for law not shit that I make up. This is actually something you can go look at, they can go look at, and it's not going to change. So, whether you like it or not, we have a lot of people that are going around and using the word state law when state has statutes, codes, and ordinances because the state that are elected officials and the employees of those elected officials are still fiduciaries for the people because the people that run the government are the people that are governed not the governors keep that in mind the governors do not have authority nor do they have power until it is given to them by the consent of the governed you are a part of the governed now going back real quick this is also why i state there are a lot of people that are looking to quote unquote bend laws or circumvent state quote quote unquote laws when in fact the law that you have to obey is the law that was given to you when you were born the state can't give you laws so the state can't take them away this is why there is no spoon thank you guys i appreciate everybody for donating this this episode was brought to us by Leonard and Robin. I appreciate both of you guys. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. Apple Pay, Venmo, Google Wallet. You know my favorite, Cash App. The link is in the description. Download it. Get it. Use it. Let's all get paid. Until next time.